Welcome to DTV on a really tough day for the football club. We're t joined with one of the greats, uh, Stephen Smith, who um, obviously played a lot of footy with Rob. And um, Steve, uh, tough day for yourself. I mean, uh, your memories of Rob. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm actually really struggling. I, I'm not a teary bloke, but um, I've, I've certainly had my moments this morning. And um, I don't know, it's really very emotional. Um, Tulip, I, I started one year after Tulip and finished um, two years before him. So I played my 12 years with him um, and he's just you know the Mike Sheen article this morning was a beautiful article but it absolutely captured the absolute essence of, of Robbie um, he he was the most self-effacing guy I've ever come across he he was uncomfortable with um, with all the attention he used to get because he was a superstar and made things look so easy but he was really uncomfortable he'd always try and deflect it with his one-liners he he um, he just didn't really want to be the centre of attention and that's the nature of the bloke, he was just such a, a gentle man. Yeah. What was it like actually running out on the G with, with Robbie, I mean the, the famous Robbie on the, playing down the wing, I mean uh, to actually experience that? Oh, well in fact I remember one game under Barass that we were getting smashed, it was the early 80s and I was full back and the strategy was Brass said everyone was across the members side wing except Robbie and his his opponent and I just kicked it within 10 metres, Robbie made me look good, he, whether it was in the air or on the ground, he, he 10 out of 10, he, he was he was just a freak of a bloke and and to see him um, just take some of his grabs and dodge and weave and get out of the traffic with with all other players around him was just fantastic, you know I used to stand in awe at times just of some of the things he used to do and I'm, I'm playing on the ground with him and I'm sort of amazed at what he was doing, it's sort of you had to snap yourself back out to get back into the game, he's just he was, had freakish talents. Where does he rank for you? You've seen a lot of Melbourne, obviously played with a lot of greats and uh, seen a lot of the club. Where does he rank for you? Oh, as far as pure ability, from because he was skinny, he wasn't that quick, he wasn't that tall, um, but with what he had, he was just... I, I'd, I'd, I'd put him up there as number one in my mind. Um, now, I haven't seen, at the other end of the scale, you had the Brasses, which were pure competitiveness and... Uh, and aggression, but Robbie was just different, and he was very special. And in a team, a really poor team, although having said that, many years our best 12 was good, but our worst six were no good. But Robbie was just, he was the pin up. Members came to watch him play. Steve, thanks very much for chatting to us on a really tough day. It was um, you know, great to chat to one of his teammates who played with him throughout the whole career. Um, uh, look after yourself, and thanks for the time. Thanks,